Hey everybody, Andrew here with the American Heritage Museum. Meet the F-105G Thunder Chief. The F-105 entered service with the United States Air Force in 1958 and would serve until its retirement in 1984. The airframe was designed as a fighter bomber and could carry a staggering 14,000 pounds of ordnance, be it bombs, rockets, or missiles, in addition to its 20mm rotary cannon. Early in the Vietnam War, the F-105 would be used to carry out the majority of strike missions performed by the Air Force against the North Vietnamese. However, come 1966, the Air Force began using converted versions of the F-105F variant, a two-seater training version of the airplane, in the Suppression of Enemy Air Defense role, or SEED for short. These conversions, like the ones seen here, would be outfit with electronic warfare devices and carried air-to-ground missiles like the AGM-45 Shrike and the AGM-78. These specially equipped aircraft and their crews will be given the incredibly important and dangerous task of seeking out and destroying enemy surface-to-air missile launch sites on the ground in Vietnam. These aircraft and their crews would be affectionately known as wild weasels. You can see this F-105G wild weasel and many other historically significant artifacts here at the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, Massachusetts.